I'm Kevin Thomas, Senior Pastor at Forest Lake United Methodist. Let's talk about Acts chapter 2, verses 36 through 41. Therefore, let the entire house of Israel know with certainty that God has made him both Lord and Christ, this Jesus whom you crucified. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and the other disciples, Brothers, what should we do? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, so that your sins may be forgiven, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is for you, for your children, for all who are far away, everyone whom the Lord our God calls to him. And he testified with many other arguments and exhorted them, saying, Save yourselves from this corrupt generation. So those who welcomed his message were baptized, and that day about 3,000 persons were added. In Peter's first sermon, he calls the Israelites out for killing Jesus. He tells them that God finally sent the long-awaited Messiah, but they conspired against him and killed him. Peter's audience would have expected judgment. In the first century, plotting against Caesar resulted in a slow and painful death for traitors and their families. If this Jesus, whom they plotted against and crucified, is risen from the dead, if he is the king of the Jews, the crowd would have expected swift justice for their rebellion. Peter doesn't hesitate to lay the blame of, for Jesus' death at their feet. This Jesus whom you crucified, he says, the people are certain they're in trouble and ask what, the, what they should do. But the accusation doesn't come with judgment. No revenge for the wrongly murdered Messiah. Instead, Peter offers forgiveness. The king who you crucified wants to forgive you and invite you into an honored place in his kingdom. What a shocking message. They had never heard of a king with such grace. 3,000 men plus women and children chose forgiveness that day. Too often we in the church have been too quick to judge. We've criticized people for tattoos and hair color, for who they love and how they dress, for not going to church, or for partying too much on the weekends. We need to stop the judgment. Jesus' response to the very people who killed him was to offer grace and forgiveness. Christians are supposed to follow Christ. Rather than pointing fingers, let us offer open arms.